poison I see hath been his timeless end. O oh, churl, drunk all and left no friendly drop. O oh, happy dagger, this is thy sheath. There rust, and let me die. Slam shut. Please wait a minute. I'll find the spare key.
Dear friends, you won't believe it, but fortune smiled on us. Dryer Crowley invited us to perform at the ball at his estate. I have to go now, or we won't be able to prepare everything on time. We'll be waiting for you at the estate. Your Beatrice. It's a pretty long drive to my estate. Would you mind passing the time by having a glass or two? Let's drink to your talent, young lady. <laughs> Mr. Crowley invited us to perform at the ball. What a look! I need to hurry to the estate. Too noisy in the estate. Nobody will hear me. Welcome. My name is Eve. I'm Mr. Crawley's butler. He said you were coming. 
Mr. Crawley is expecting you in his office. The bomb will begin soon, so I have to go. friend of Mr. Crowley's family. You must be looking for your fiancé. He put in a word for you, and I would be happy to give you a job. I was just about to go upstairs when I suddenly twisted my leg. The heel broke, and now I can't. And please, think of something to help me. In return, I'll take you to the second floor to see Mr. Ah, my... Perfectly. You're very lucky. Your fiancé is probably tired of waiting for you. Follow me. I'll take you to Crowley's office. And here, take it as a token of my gratitude.
this family. I'm in charge of a private event at Mr. Crowley's estate. Today he's holding a closed meeting of the gaming club. Only noble gentlemen are allowed to play, but as an exception, I can let you in if you're ready to try your luck. I wonder what Mr. Crowley will do this time to surprise us. Last year, his ball was truly wonderful.
Oh, this family has such a... The Crowleys had always been prosperous and famous. Dreyer's father, Martin, was a renowned philanthropist. He invested a lot of money in the city theater and thus revived it. At one point, Martin Crowley started gambling. His favorite was a game of cards. Dreyer's mother, Annabelle, was fond of her son. Shortly after their bankruptcy, she caught an unknown disease. Two strangers were waiting for Martin Crowley in a dark alley. Death was Dreyer grew up and surprised the city with his outstanding achievements. Fortune. at you. Your acting skills can impress anyone. Where's Beatrice? She's here. I need her loving heart. It's the price I pay to be with great and beautiful Fortuna. I could easily kill you, but gambling is a weakness of mine. Let's find out whose side Fortuna is on today. The wager will be Beatrice. If you win, you'll have a chance to see her one last time. You must get a six on each die. <laughs> oh, you lovebirds are so stupid. Your feelings cloud your judgment and bring out your reckless side. Franz has already made it to Dryer's trap. Maybe now is exactly the moment your love gambles away your soul to Dryer.
chance to see her one last time. You must get a six on each die. Friends! Friends! I'm here! very moment. I wasn't able to take the soul unless one of you agreed to gamble on it and lost. Now, Beatrice is mine, and you, I don't need you anymore. No! Stop it! From now on, Beatrice, you are just one more card in my collection. A new, obedient puppet. Is there anything I can do for you, Mr. Boy? Get this chap to the wine cellar. Don't forget the cuffs. Other servants will help you. Meanwhile, I'll sacrifice this pretty lady in the name of Fortune. My infinite luck awaits me.
my backup plan in case something happens to Beatrice. But seriously, Franz, you're causing way too many problems, and I don't have time for that. Not only have you gambled away your beloved soul, but also linked your own one to this card. Look, I'll tear it, and your life is over. No! You've caused too much trouble, darling, and I'm losing my temper. This will settle you. Ah, much better. Oh, the sweet sense of control. All thanks to this card. I hope you've learned your lesson. Now, I'll go and get the ritual paraphernalia. Play nice while I'm gone.
You all right, sir? I'm Gilbert, Mr. Crowley's gardener. I've been serving this family for so long. But Dryer lost his parents, he became a completely different person. Something or someone had changed him. A kind and caring boy had turned into. I did try to talk some sense into this new Dryer, but he wouldn't listen. I, I can't help thinking that there was something I could have done to prevent him from spiraling out of control. There must be a way to bring kind Dryer back. I feel you're a good man, so I'll help you. I believe you need it. Oh, thank God. I'm glad you feel much better. I suppose your beloved's all you have in your... Uh, let me think. You may still find some clues regarding Beatrice's whereabouts at the estate. The only problem... Don't waste another minute. Go. And here, take this. You may come in handy.
I, I almost forgot. Would you like to have a look at Mr. Crowley's greenhouse? He used to spend a lot of time there. Thank <laughs> you. 
Dreyer hit all the things. you 
Dreyer will be back soon. We'd better get away from this place. Listen, sir. Mr. Crowley kidnapped me. He was going to sacrifice me in the name of some spirit. Please believe me. Calm down, madam. I'll help you. This way, please. Something's wrong. This road will get us to the city. I bet this gendarme is a good friend of Dreyer's. He wasn't even going to help us. I'll distract him. You jump out of the carriage. Now! Hi. Oh, of course. Of course you can. There's... Are you hungry, dear?
I've just remembered how I know you. You are the actress from our local theater, right? I've made it to your performance once. You did great. I think I saw Franz running into the thicket. This forest is easy to get lost in and get into trouble. Luckily, I know every nook and cranny and can be your guide. I'll be waiting outside. Here, take this. You never know what can come in handy.
ride this horse, and I'll ride the other one. Let's go. <laughs> Ernesto, my loyal servant, you did wonderfully, as usual, brother. The clock is ticking, Dwyer. I hope you found a quality heart. Otherwise, I'll end your pathetic existence. Ernesto, you've got to know. We need to hurry. Check. This pretty one has stolen the card. Stupid girl. Mr. Crowley will be deeply disappointed at her death. The good news is I don't need you anymore. Goodbye, Romeo. Larry says Crowley sacrifices these poor girls at the building in the city square. But wait, where's the next page? No, no, no! Which building was Ernesto talking about?
Beatrice. <sighs> the time of the ritual is nigh. <laughs> this whole front to the rescue thing only whets my appetite. <laughs> I bet he's making one more pathetic attempt to save you at this exact moment. <sighs> Well, there are some finishing touches I need to make before the ritual. You, behave yourself. Be back in a minute. <laughs>
Friends! Right here, on the roof. Please look up, please!
You can, darling. This Beatrice is trying to escape her fate play is so amusing. The momentous hour has come. Soon, you'll meet the great Fortuna and we'll find out for whom the bell tolled. <laughs> One more viewer. Great. Do you, Franz, agree that life is a play? Both of you must realize the importance of a role choice. You either have power or someone has power over you. I've chosen the first option, so everyone else is just a soulless vessel. Puppets without any purpose to their existence. The cards in my deck. Thank you. 
That was magnificent! Congratulations! Franz, you helped me with my shoe situation. Now it's time for me to keep my promise. Meet me at my theatre, both of you. Everything is going to be great. I know it. Never take it off. A part of me will always be by your side. 